sorry about that. I'm sorry. I thought it told me to. Oh. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Zoom here. And today we're painting with Sunrise so Surprise, like always. And since I feel like the weather is like really hot lately, I thought of summery things and I think maybe that you're too in a more summery mood. So I thought about painting jello feeds. I It's a very, very easy uh, to do. I will do some very nice and fun washes. And I thought of using the new palettes from the Art Supplies that are, just came out. And I don't know if you know that or if you have checked them out already. So here is the Vista palette. I think this is a Greek island. So on the inside, it has all blue shades and green shades. So obviously uh, this is the idea palette for painting summery themes and jello face, of course. So here, what the colors look like when I switch them right here. And this is what palettes look like. Uh, it's a little bit messy right now. Um, but yeah, lots of beautiful turquoise shades some purples that we're going to mix together and such. Um, yeah, and I also grabbed another palette. This is the Modernum. Uh, they're small, they're travel size, so you can carry them with you anywhere you go, basically. So this is the other one. And on the inside, uh, you'll find all these beautiful shades. So I'm using these uh, areas as mixing areas most of the time. Um, so you have so beautiful blue shades we're going to use today. Hello, hello, how are you? How's your, your health? Hope you're doing uh, much better. So also here I have some of my favorite brushes I'll be using. So today basically we're going to do a lot of washes. So I'm going to need round brushes and uh, different sizes of round brushes. So yeah. I'm going to turn my camera around so you can face my table and we're going to start uh, painting. Um, pretty well, thank you very much. <laughs> Doing okay. Um, so this is the uh, watercolor paper that also came out and is from the Nuts of Highs. Um, oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, I love doing the lives as well, so uh, yeah, like I said, this is the paper, it just came out from the Art Supplies, it's really good, and we're going to test it today and see how absorbing it is. So let's flip our camera. Hello, hello there. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to set my table. I have sketched a small jelly piece here, but um, we're also going to paint some other jelly pieces around that will be freehand. Um, so yes, this is basically a subject that you don't really need to necessarily to sketch beforehand. So, all right. So yeah, let's uh, let's start. I'm just going to grab my brush. Okay, switch places so I can't find anything. Yeah, so I think I'm going to start with um, this brush, like I always do, basically. So this is a number five brown brush from the Turner set that is uh, Squirrel Mix. Is going to take them out so we can use. Uh, this is our cup finder, our deck. So you always send a thank you note when someone purchases the uh, supplies. All right, so I'm just going to start mixing the colors here. You can use this area as a mixing area as well. All right, so I'm just mixing some of this purple. I always don't know the names. Um, so apparently this is a cold bad violet hue and we're mixing it with some manganese blue or no, this is a foul blue. 
Uh, I see that you guys are chatting among yourself. That's okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's mix those colors. I think I'm gonna switch brushes and get a brush that has like that is bigger so we can do so we can hold more water and we can do more more washes. Okay. So we want this watercolor effect right here. Okay. Okay, so here the jelly fees has some like tentacles. So we're doing some, some washes first and then when it dries we're going to, to sketch. So right now it looks a little bit abstract at first. Okay. So I'm going to bring my hair dryer so our layers will dry faster because I tend to be a little bit impatient sometimes. So also on our YouTube channel I have some underwater scenes that you might like as well. So just grab my hair dryer and sorry about the noise. So like I said right now, it kind of looks a little bit abstract, um, but we are going to fix that. Just going to grab my ring brush. So, like I said, yes, we have so many uh, summary themes on our YouTube channel. We have some seashells. We also have some, like I said, Anderson um, water and with more jellyfish and such. 
and also I've painted a bunch of sea creatures and you can see that like I said on our YouTube channel okay so jellyfish has like all this texture on top well not exactly texture because it's kind of smooth but it has you know some transparency and some lines so we're drawing some of them with our ringer brush and those are like tentacles it has so we're also painting them as well So yeah, we've started a little bit abstract, but now our jellyfish will take some form. And like I said, if you want to paint lines that are like small or straight, uh, the ringer brush is a perfect brush for, for this job. So it has some tentacles that are like a little bit more stringy and then it also has some that are a bit thicker. And we're also going to add a few white lines. Another thing are going to help with our jellyfish. So either I'm going to grab my marker or I'm going to use my my gouache and yeah basically I think it's a good idea using some markers yeah okay just going to test some more to see what's going to look with the marker first
Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the with the quash. So I'm just gonna go with my my jelly quash for the jelly piece. I think I need to add a little bit of gouache. Okay. So I'm just going to put some fresh glass here. And I'm going to grab my ring brush again. It's going to take some. And we're going to add some white tentacles here as well. I think it looks much better. And also, I was thinking that we have you no. Know, we have the sparkly colors from the Purchaser palette. So maybe we're going to try to also uh, paint one with uh, some metallic colors and see what it looks like. And then we're going to add a layer. Looks interesting. All right, yeah. I like the metallic. So cool. All right, let's do another one now. Okay, and we can also use like different different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna mix one that is mm, no this one looks a little bit more green so I'm just going to paint one that is a little bit orangey. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's a good shade. Okay. So I disconnected 
but I'm still here. It's cool. Nice. So, kind of what you feet to another one somewhere. Okay, so we're letting them dry. I'm going to decide what color is going to be our next one. Um, I was thinking maybe with a bit of blue. So, yes, basically, you can play around with the colors. And the shapes are like very basic. So you start with this semicircle and you fill it with color. And then you draw some lines under for, for the tentacles or well, it's legs, whatever it is. I'm sorry, I don't exactly know the correct term for it. And then we draw these lines. And I think they look really nice and they're very, very easy to do. Okay, so let's do the other one. Okay, I'm just gonna take some of this foul blue. I think it's a very nice shade of blue, this one. And here we have some of the yellow ochre here together then we're going to try some lines here and when they dry we're going to add more detail basically Okay, so sort of think another one here at the side. Maybe it will look good. Okay, so this one is a little bit purple. And we're going to add a little bit of blue here. All right. And now I'm just going to use my my hair dryer to speed up the process a little bit. Okay, also I have some silver markers I maybe will look good to add some silver details okay it looks kind of nice in person I don't know if it shows on camera some small simmery uh, details. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my ring brush. Okay, this one is completely uh, dry. 
So let's go over there. Just going to mix a little bit of red. This one is a bit purple and I don't like it for this sake. So I'm just going to create a deeper shade. Okay. Just mixing a little bit of gouache since I have it right next to me. And since I am watering it down with water, the effect is like watercolors basically. Okay, so now we're adding the details. So some small lines. All right, we're trying to make them look thin. And now we're just going to paint our tentacles. There can also be variations of the same color just to create you know more more depth and it looks more more interesting. So I'm just creating the impression that those are like the thicker parts, the tentacles. All right. Just going to use my hair dryer, and we're going to add some of the white bits. And again with my ringer brush. So this is some um, some white gouache I'm using. It's not it's not watercolor. You can definitely um, mix those two. They're both water mixable colors, and yes, yeah, so you can combine them together. So next we have the Sather Turquoise Jelly Fees here. 
draw out some details. So we add those, those lines. And we're also adding a little bit of some purple. Tentacles. We're letting it dry and then we're coming back. And let's add a little bit more detail to the others. So I'm using this red I use for, for this one full here. So this is like very, very simple and it's very nice uh, for beginners. And if you want, you can also do some washes before you start painting them on the background. And that will give the impression that you have painted an underwater scene. And we have one more here, just mixing some turquoise color. Right. And now we're going to use our hair dryer for a few seconds. Sorry. And yes, now we're going back to our white gouache. Like I said, you can also use maybe if you have some metallic markers or some metallic shades, I think it's going to look really nice when you're painting your tentacles. You know, this air decent effect, I think it really matches the underwater scene or when you're painting fish for instance in watercolor I think it looks really good.
So it's easier to paint lines, like I said, with the ringer brush rather than any other, you know, round brush for full to color. Since we want our lines to be really thin. Okay. And we have one more left here. Let's add our lines. So yes, those are our jelly pieces. So another thing that you can do if you have started like me and you don't have like a background, you can do a little bit maybe of a wash. Or you know some some splashes. Or a little bit of a wash. So I'm using like a scroll brush. I think I like it better like this. Looks more like an underwater scene. Like I said, it's very, very easy for beginners, so yeah, give it a try. I think you're gonna like it. It's very fun. You do the washes and you add all the small details. And yeah, I think you're gonna love it. If you do, don't forget to post it here on our Facebook group, Inspiration Daily. I would love to see your colorful jelly pieces and your results. Yeah, I think it looks good. So thank you for watching guys. I hope I'll see you at the next time. Goodbye.